Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel, and I want to answer a question that I get pretty much every week. So I've done in the past a few videos talking about System Restore. I've done, of course, a few videos explaining to you that System Restore should be enabled, and it should be always on to make sure that if something happens, you can actually use a restore point to go back in time. It's a great tool and it helps tremendously when something goes bad. System Restore is also available when you go to the um, boot menus um, when you actually need help. So one of the things, of course, that you could do is use Restore to go back and try to fix whatever happens. This video is about one thing that is the main question I get asked, is people go to the System Restore and they notice that there's no restore points. So here you see I've got a recommended restore point and I could choose a different one if I want. They give me uh, um, some restore points that actually are available. Now, what do you do if there's no restore points? And unfortunately, um, if you have no access to your PC, if you're stuck, for example, in the, uh, you know, the menu, the boot menu, the, the safe mode or whatever, and your PC just doesn't work well. When you have no restore point, there's nothing you can do to get a restore point. You got to understand that, which means that if your PC is stuck at impossible reboot, you got to look at what options you have left. What you need to do is look at what did you do or what happened to your PC before it became unusable. Is it a Windows update? Well, then you can go into safe mode and remove that update when you go to update and security. So that's one of the things you can do and go here and of course, in the Windows updates, you will be able to actually have the possibility of, um, you know, with the update history, of uninstalling an update. So that is available in, in safe mode. And actually some updates are available in safe mode and not in um, the regular Windows uh, startup. So that's one thing. If it's a program you installed, you can uninstall it in safe mode most of the time. So you can go and um, even go into the control panel and you know, go into the programs and features and make sure that you, um, of course, uninstall whatever program you have on that list. So these are things that you can do, but you need to remember what did your computer do before it crashed in order to have it. And last but not least, remember that if something prevents you from booting up, you got no restore points to try, you don't really know what happened. Well, you might be actually stuck at an option that is a Windows reinstall. And that is unfortunately something you need to think about uh, at some point. You don't uh, necessarily lose your files. So a lot of people are always asking, yeah, but if I reinstall Windows, I lose everything. You will uh, lose your programs, but you won't lose the files, you know, the music the documents and stuff like that. If you have separate hard drives, all the stuff in those hard drives are not going to be uh, touched. You'll be able to access them. But you got to choose an option that you need to install and keep files. That's an option when you actually do a clean install. I've got a set of videos of clean install that you can check out. I'm about to actually do another set of clean install videos to refresh with the newest versions. And this is, I'm waiting for the version 2004 for this to happen so that you guys could see what the latest version that's going to happen this year, how to do so. But there are different options. You got to think about it. At last resort, you might need to actually reinstall Windows. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.